the holy name of Jesus. Keep inviting people. Good morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you. 
bless your holy name, Jesus. We give you glory, Yahweh. Father, we thank you, we give you glory and honor. We thank you because there is no one like you. You are the great I am, the hell shall die, the God that was, is, and is to come. We give you praise in Jesus' name, amen. Well, be greeted once again this morning in the name of Jesus. We're going to be dealing with something very serious here, and uh, it's going to be breaking the spirit of backwardness, destroying the spirit of backwardness, destroying the spirit of backwardness. Okay. The spirit of backwardness. That's what we are dealing with right now by the grace of God. Destroying the spirit of backwardness. That's what we want to deal with right now. So it will be prayers to destroy the spirit of backwardness. And I'm going to show you some of the things that make people to go backward. As you know, all of you that join me every morning, I am here because I need to review the operanda of the realm of the spirit. You know, the enemy is not very, very worried about our success because he knows success from the Lord, is from the Lord. So when you succeed, he knows that he has lost in one way or the other. So his greatest aim is to see how he can bring you back to your initial level where you have been or where you were before. That's how the enemy works. So all of you that follow me, we are praying for totally different things. We are making sure that what must be dealt with is dealt with to the glory of the name of Jesus. So we are going into the word of God, destroying the spirit of backwardness. A lot of people, they make heads. They progress a little bit. After they move a little bit, they go backwards. And this is what troubles a lot of people. Because backwardness is a spirit. It's a demonic spirit. It's an agent that the enemy uses to make sure that people are going forward, they start to come backwards. Now, you hold important things in your life just to make sure that you don't make heads, you don't proceed. But by the grace of God, this week, every spirit of backwardness, every force that doesn't take you forward, but takes you back, shall leave you alone. You're going to discover that backwardness works with two spirits, spirit of stagnation and spirit of failure. Again, it works with the spirit of disappointment appointments. So all these connections that are there in promoting failure and backwardness in the life of the person, that's why a lot of you, you enter into a certain dimension. Then you are kicked out of the dimension again. You find yourself in a different dimension. Because the dimension where you were, you have just been taken out by the spirit or the power of backwardness. But my prayer to the Lord today is that God shall help you and I not to walk in the spirit of backwardness, but to come and experience the power of the Holy Spirit and start to move forward and attract the spirit 
of breakthrough in our lives in Jesus' name. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter number 7 and verse 24. Jeremiah chapter number 7 and verse 24. Jeremiah. The Bible says, But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear, but walked in the counsels and in the imaginations of their evil hearts, and went backward and not forward. I want you to follow that scripture very well. Jeremiah 7, verse 24, the Bible says, But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear, but walked in the counsels and in the imagination of their evil heart and went backward and not forward. Did you get that? That's very powerful. Then Jeremiah chapter number 15, and I'm reading verse number 6. 15 verse number 6, the Bible says, Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord. Thou art gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against you and destroy you. I am weary of repenting. The first thing I want you to understand is that Backwardness is a spirit. And the spirit of backwardness is the spirit of rebellion. And the spirit of rebellion is a spirit of witchcraft. According to 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23. Rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. So a, a person that rebels is a witch. Are you facing challenges with the internet? Let's try to switch to a 3G and see how it goes. I hope it's going to be clear. So, the spirit of backwardness works hand in hand with the spirit of rebellion. Jeremiah 7 24 puts it very clear, but they hearkened not. The day you stop to hearken to the voice of the Lord, the day you start to overlook the principles of God, The day you start to fight with God's demands over your life, your finances, and your character, you are going to invite the spirit of backwardness. Jeremiah 7, 24 says, But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear, but walked in the counsels and in the imagination of their evil heart and went backward, not forward. So the first step of defeating the spirit of backwardness is to obey God at all cost. Somebody says network is not stable. Who's that? Kumucho. I don't know how you're finding it. Let's try. Let's keep trying. So it's very important for you to understand that rebellion is what is going to give you a problem. Immediately, you choose 
not to obey God, not to follow his instruction because you think you are strong and clever enough. Whenever you walk in the counsels of the man and not the counsels of God, the Bible says that your life is going to go backward. The reason why I always encourage people to say, no matter how hard it looks and it appears, obey God, is because your going forward is hinged in following God's instruction. And this is what we must follow. On breaking the spirit of backwardness, I discovered over time that God gave people individual revelations. There are certain people who will be told to do something for God. Others will be told to join certain ministries. I've heard of people who are told to start sweeping the church. I've heard of people who are told to start just evangelizing. So breaking the spirit of backwardness Usually, God gives a personal revelation which become a guarantor that now you are prepared or you are obeying the voice of God. You are walking in the counsel of God. But they hearkened not nor inclined their ear but walked in the counsels and in the imagination of their evil hearts and went backwards and not forward immediately you overlook the counsel of God, your life will go backward. Is it not a shock that many people, when they are struggling, they stop going to church? They say, no, I'm struggling, I can't go to church. I don't have Petro, I can't go to church. Petro doesn't take you to church. Your heart takes you to church. You may not go to church that you have got no petrol, but you go to anywhere. You can go to the school of your child. You can go for shopping, you know, because why your heart decided you want to be there. And immediately you are in lack. You are under attack. You need the help of God through prayer. So here now is the thing that I need you to understand. When you walk in the councils and not in the council of God, the Bible says they did that and they went backwards and not forward. Then Jeremiah 15 verse 6 says, Thou hast forsaken me when you forsake God. A lot of people, they forsake God. They forsake God. Thou hast forsaken me, says the Lord. Thou art gone backward. Therefore, I will stretch out my hand against you and destroy you. I'm weary with repenting. I'm wary with repenting. Now, this is what happens with a lot of, and I preach about this all the time. A lot of times when things are tough, what we do, we, first, we forsake the Lord because we think praying is a waste of time. Going to church is a waste of time. Doing anything for God is a waste of time. So we forsake God and we start to use our own power. And, you know, that's why I respect people who tell me, Daddy, I am in a situation. What is the Lord saying? Or how can you advise me? And I'll say, look, you do one, two, three. Amen. Sometimes the counsel doesn't make sense because it feels like you are victimizing the victim. But you need to know, breaking the spirit of backwardness it needs a personal revelation. But what I came to discover here is that most of us will become rebellious. And rebellion leads to backwardness. When you start to disobey and rebel against the principles of God, you rebel against the word of God. You become angry at God. You become angry at the word of God. You become angry at the church. You become angry at everything, the Holy Spirit, everything, prayer. No, I've been praying for too long. For how long am I going to pray? I don't have power to pray. You must have power to pray. Immediately you lose that power.
power to pray, then you have lost it. You better even go to church. Even if you don't have, have power to pray, you sit in the church. Let the prayers going on carry you. Let those people who are praying, let them carry you. Now, here's the thing. When we start to go contrary to the plan and the purpose of God for our lives, we begin to go backwards and not forward. Let me tell you something. A lot of you, you experienced breakthrough. You experienced glory. You experienced the next level. When you found yourself doing something for God, or when you found yourself in a particular prayer meeting or in a particular place where God met you, changed your life, gave you a revelation, and your life changed. So immediately you start to contradict the plan of God in your life. Immediately you start to rebel with the pattern of God in your life. Immediately you start to do that, you are inviting backwardness in your life and everything that you do. Now, today I'm going to lead you into prayers to destroy the spirit of backwardness. These prayers will empower you to even kill every illicit desire of the flesh that leads you to rebellion against God and also strengthen your flesh, strengthen your spirit in the inner man to serve God. You must always know our God is a merciful God. He loves us so much and unconditionally, all right? He sent his son to come and die for us, to move us from backwardness to forwardness. God through Christ has delivered us from darkness to light. According to Colossians chapter 1 verse number 13, he has removed us from curses to blessings. According to Galatians chapter 3 verse 13, because of Christ's obedience, God has declared us righteous. Romans 5 19, God did all this for us out of love. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He did this so that we can live like Christ and not like a backward life. Not live a backward life. He know that when we go forward, when we go backwards, we go back to sin. When we go forward, we are moving forward with the kingdom of God. Sin leads to demotion. Sin leads to stagnation. Sin leads to failure disappointment it also leads to sickness all right and all kinds of demonic afflictions sin ultimately will lead us to eternal damnation but that shall never be your portion in the name of jesus the prayer to destroy the spirit of backwardness will empower you to resist the devil and stand your ground in christ my prayer for you today is May you keep going forward and never backward in your life in Jesus' name. When the Lord give you a testimony, when the Lord give you a breakthrough, you must not lose that breakthrough again and go backwards. When money comes, you must not go backward financially. When you get married, you must not be found single again. All right, when you get a job, you must not be found unemployed again. When you go in the senior position, you must not be found in a junior position. When you start to live a rich life, wealth life, you must never be found in the life of lack again. So whatever brings you back, we are going to rebuke it in the name of Jesus. But I need us to understand something here that is very important. Spirit of backwardness, it works with a spirit of counsel it uses evil counsel advices when job was attacked with all kinds of souls and with all kind of losses the first advice he got was from his wife the wife said you have suffered too much just insult god and die 
It is sounded as if she was putting Job into rest. Why should you go through all this? Just insult God and die. And Job said, Naked I came, naked I shall return. May the name of the Lord be praised. He decided to be obedient even in the midst of loss, pain, frustration, and serious catastrophe. He was surrounded with the different kinds of events, but he did not give up on God. A lot of us, the reason why we go backward, the first thing the enemy does is to send you a person. I pray that God shall not send you a person who's going to make you one to turn your back on God. I pray God shall not send you a person who shall make you to rebel against God. And the enemy shall send you a person who's going to come and give you an advice of dishonoring Jehovah, be it in your tithes and offerings, be it in your prayer life, be it in your services to God, in your attendance and your commitment and your surrenderedness of your life unto him. Because there are people who come. Why, why is it that your life is all about church? Why is church, 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 church? Why everything is church, church, church? God, 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 God. Me, I'm tired of this. God, 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 God. Immediately, the devil sends such a person. You must know the person has come to introduce backwardness in your life. Because backwardness works with the spirit of advice. Sometimes the people, you found them in the house. Job was advised to curse God, not by an outsider. By a woman he was with in the same house. A woman who saw the blessings in their lives. But when things changed, she was the first one to say, insult God and die. But the job had a personal revelation. Naked I came, naked I return. And one thing I know, my God is not a thief, neither does he leave us disappointed and it does not put us to shame a number of people some of you have these people who have given you advice are people want to weaken you you have become too strong for them spiritually so the devil send them in your life to come and weaken you spiritually some of them they make you their friends but the friendship is not based on you the friendship is based on your destiny because they want to make sure your destiny has been exchanged. And I'm going to deal with the destiny exchanges this week. And you're going to understand. They come, some of you, in the name of love. But they just come to break your heart. Because they want to disturb you and take you backward. And some of you don't have a personal revelation. You even stop doing things on a personal level. You surrender everything God has given you into the hand of man. And they have come because they have come to introduce something in your life. Some of you, you served God faithfully until somebody introduced you to a sangoma. Yeah. Now, was our womb wahambanai to a particular place? La pautole konomut. which even never worked for you. And lo mutu loyo, au zange But it broke your spirit and disconnected you from your first love with God. And you don't feel the same anymore. Let me tell you something. The enemy will introduce people in your life. That's why one of the things if you want to avoid backwardness, Amos chapter number 3, verse 3, the Bible says, two cannot walk together unless they agree. The reason why I find it difficult up to now to find a friend, I've struggled for 32 years because my life is different. I have 
a spiritually crazy life. I can be on the way going to Johannesburg and I would drive maybe 100, 150 kilometers. And as I'm going, I'm almost in Whitbank. I receive a transmission and say, don't continue the journey. And I'm carrying you. And you also want to go to Joburg. And I stop the car and I say, I can't continue. The spirit of God has just told me I must not continue the journey. I am turning back. Ah, so what am I going to do? No, I'm not going to sell my destiny because of you. The Lord has spoken to me right now. So the best way I'm going to do, I can put you at Whitbank Station. You catch a taxi and continue. But me, I'm going back. Or I can go back with you. Then you start all over again to go. Because me, I received a transmission. Do not continue with the journey. No, why didn't God tell you before we left? I said, listen, sometimes God want to test your obedience after you have spent. He want to see if you still be sharp to say, Lord, I prefer you more than anything else. So sometimes people, God, the devil bring people in your life who just come to introduce stagnation. There are people who have been stagnant financially because there were people introduced in their lives to come and take money from them in the name of investment, in the name of business, in the name of... That's why before you invest any cent in anything, pray about it. Pray about it. Somebody says, so true, Daddy. I remember when I had my first operation, one of my colleagues told me that, don't you see this is witchcraft? I told her I don't believe in that. Thank you, Daddy, for your teaching. I'm growing spiritually every day. God bless you, my daughter. It's a pleasure to see you growing. It's a, it's a great pleasure. Daddy is happy you are growing. So it's important. It, the devil will introduce people. Those people that come in your life, they come to introduce a spirit of backwardness. We find people where rich are poor. We find people where married, they are not married. We find people where healthy, they are not healthy. We find people where working, they are no longer working. Because there was an introduction of some kind by people that come into our lives. And if you are not careful, some of the people's purpose, they come to sell your destiny. They come to destroy your future. When your destiny is destroyed, their time is over, they leave you struggling. Remember, whatever gets destroyed, to build a thing it takes years, to destroy it, it's in a one day. I heard of a story, as we are here, now spread it has gone viral everywhere, where a certain house here in Kamagu was destroyed. But God gave me a revelation. I'm not interested in all the stories behind and all that. That's not my concern. But God gave me a revelation. He said, Alex, look at this house, which they have just destroyed in hours. How long did it take to build it? And I started to look. I said, they cleared the land first. Then they had to dig a foundation. Then they put up a slab. They raised the walls put windows, put frames, they roofed the house, painted the house. The Lord was, this took time. But this house has been destroyed in hours. Look, it's in hours, it's in rubbles. How come? Then the Lord spoke to me. Building something takes long, but destroying it, you just need to have one person. The person who built the house never destroyed it. He destroyed it through somebody. He sent someone with a TLB and broke it down. So the devil doesn't destroy you directly. The devil sends someone you can identify with. There are certain relationships in 2021, you're not supposed to keep them. 
I'm telling you prophetically right now. Because these relationships have costed you. Have costed you. Some of these people, you know, they are practicing witchcraft on you and on your finances. But you are still keeping them. They still ask money from you, you give them. They still ask support from you, you give them. And yet you know, every money you give to them, they take it to an altar. And every time you have given them money, things go wrong. Every time you release something to them, there is a shift in the realm of the spirit. Something change. That's why an enemy can send a friend who introduce you to drinking hunters and savannah. You never saw, you never drank, but for you to go backward, it will involve a relationship because you need counsel. The Bible says, and they did not walk in the counsels of God. They walked in the counsels of their evil hearts. And they went backwards and not forward. So going backward, you must do an introspect introspection first. If you are going backward financially, the first question you ask yourself is that, how faithful are you to the Lord in your tax? How faithful are you to the Lord in your offerings? Are you honoring God with the income he has given you? Are you honoring him or not? Very important. Some people, the enemy has sent certain people just to come and suck information from you. Just to suck to know who you are and bring backwards, backwardness. Some people just want to know where you are operating from. That's why before Samson lost the power, Delilah was introduced in his life. Delilah from the other camp of the Philistine. And she was very nice to him. And what made Samson's life to go backward, it was not the devil. It was a relationship. And the relationship of Samson and Delilah was not a sexual relationship. A lot of you have never read the Bible properly. The Bible does not say that Samson had sex with Delilah. No, it's not there. It's a lie. Samson slept on the laps. The other Bible says on the knees of Delilah. Now, if he was going to put the head on the laps of a woman, he's going to tell the truth. Because he wanted to remain lying there. That's why there is a saying that you cannot touch fire and remain unbent. And let him that says strong, be careful. That's what the word of God says. Now, this thing come mostly in form of relationship. Some backwardness has been introduced by relatives. I don't know how many of you have experienced this. I've experienced this thing time and again. Where you have a person who you knew from long. And they knew you then. Then they meet you now. And they find the life has changed. You are now moving in the grace and the glory of God. Instead of them to rejoice, you can see they are depressed. You can see they have changed, but they are trying to control themselves. But you can tell that they are troubled. They are asking questions. How come? You know, how come? How come this person has reached this far? When someone gets troubled by your progress, especially Especially if the question say, ah, sir, please, man, show us a secret as well, man. What are you using for you to reach this far? You must know that person is a dangerous person. If he say, what are you using? Ah, my man, where do you get all this money? Someone might just be able to say, hey, the Lord is really blessing you. The Lord is keeping you. 
The Lord is helping you. Please pray for us also. Whatever prayer you have prayed, pray with us also. But when somebody gets troubled by the car you drive, what is it you? Is this your house? Is that your husband? Wow. You know, immediately that happened, they get troubled. You must know that you are facing a spirit of backwardness. That is, let, let me tell you something. The spirit of backwardness is as a result of a battle between your success and the spirit that come to hijack you back as a result of jealousy and envy. Most of the times, it's a people we open our hearts to that come to destroy us. Like I was, <laughs> okay, like I was told, hey, Zanele. Usungu mulung. Se mulung. Instead of saying, well done, Vantuanabami. But they say, se omulung. Usumulung, la malang. Now, emit that statement. It's not a very innocent statement. And it's from there things start to happen. That the next visit they give you, the next visit they give you, they come prepared for you that your life must go down. At work, you have got people, you are all fighting for the same position. And they happen to promote you. You find people, they don't commend you. They don't commend you, no. They just come, they, you hear them in the corners, they start to say, corner lawyer. Aye. We are gang lawyer. And you know in your heart you have never even touched a leaf. We are gang on tenders. Usango Mawako U Jesu Christ. Unkulunku low pilai. You don't touch even a leaf. Our Zango Sevens no make tembe. But they start to say, eh, no month we are takata, we are ganga, and all that kind of stuff. The reason why they say that they are trying to say, if we're gonna deal with this person, smele senzeni, si gang. Let's do something. Then we can deal with this person. You must always know. You get promoted and your colleagues stop talking to you. You must know you are in the warfare. If you become stupid, you're going to go backward. The spirit of backwardness investigates. First of all, if it's in a working situation, they want to watch you and find a fault. They want to find an error. Go behind you and take the, tell the superiors. Tell the superiors. So that you may lose favor. Diabolical. I've heard of a person who is a manager. Right now, I'm telling you what I know. Right now. is a manager. But this person can never stay in his office. Whenever he goes in his office, the kind of headache he gets. So he's a manager at the municipality somewhere. But this man operate from the office of the clerk and around the reception. That's why usually he writes things and all that. When he does things from there, he's at peace. But from his own office, he has been kicked out completely. Spiritually. So what does he need? He needs to get to a level of obeying God. If you want to destroy any diabolical power, you destroy it from the point of obedience to God. Because the people who use diabolical powers, they are not rebellious against their leader, Satan. You can't rebel against Satan and Satan uses you. No. Satan demands 100% obedience. 
It's those people who follow instruction to the T. That's why in the kingdom of darkness, when you are given something to use and you mess it up, a person go and take the things and is given instructions. Lento Two, three days. The failing of obeying my instructions. When what did you do? You did things in the kingdom of darkness. The people just get mad. Others they get they die because certain does not compromise on the level of obedience. For you to operate in that power of the evil one, you must follow instruction to the T. That's why when you come to the kingdom of God, you can't be in rebellion and try to fight a demon that is in submission and total obedience to its leader. That's why the Bible says, and when your obedience is complete, you will be able to punish every wicked powers when your obedience is is complete. Read Corinthians when you talk about uh, we do not fight against against against, against flesh and blood, etc., etc., etc. So the enemy comes to make you lose power. Now he comes in full force. The first thing is to disconnect you from your faith. The second thing is to make you disobey. Where disobedience is, backwardness become inevitable. Backwardness become obvious because what you are fighting is an obedient agent. Listen to me, child of God. If you disobey or you, 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 you play around with the rules in the kingdom of darkness, you are gone. People, they go mad. People have accidents. People die. They become sacrifices. So in the kingdom of God, the devil is not afraid of a person who does not live in obedience. You are busy, you don't pray. You are busy, you don't do things according to principle. You don't pay your tithes. You want to marry, you're not marrying in a right way. You see, you don't pray, you don't read the word of God. You say you are a child of God, you don't go to church, you are seated in your house. When the demons are meeting underwater and they are having fellowship and they are assembling together and you say you're going to defeat the devil from your bedroom, it's a lie. It is, it is a lie. You can't. So it's very important now for you to understand that the enemy sends people in the name of relationship. Sends people in the name of relationship. To do what? To come and destroy your obedience. That's the first thing. So, the trick of the enemy is first to uproot you from the spirit of obedience and commitment to God so that they shake your faith. Number two, diabolically, they come and displace you. Do you know there are people who have been kicked out? There are people who have been bewitched, put in a place whereby they resist riches and wealth. A lady can be involved with a rich man. They will walk out of the relationship with no reason. A boy will be involved with a girl who can give him the future. He will find every reason, spiritual reason, that is from the pit of hell to break the relationship. Because why? Amandro ziakubo ayalelana nae. They must never be any difference in your life. No more usatana kafuno kutuwe na impilo yako yenyuke. When uzo shala njenda wa inye. So if somebody, uma kuzo mtu kamuko mtu, who has got power, lo ane manka, yoko chincha impilo yako. Maybe itimarita wako, business businesses wako. 
the devil fights the or the spirit they are put on you they start to fight the person you relationship you just want to and move why because when now lo moya na lelindlozi lakini lizojabula the day you get the poor of the poorest metric person who is doing nothing when you get that one for a relationship ah yeah 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 lelindlozi liyajabula ti seufikile sehlala mntwanana ngiko lapha ngiko la seufikile so it's very important first thing don't compromise your relationship with God. Two, don't compromise your relationship with people. There are many people I've met in life. Some of them are pastors. Some of them are big bishops. Some of them are prophets. Who in the first hour or the first day of meeting with them, I discovered they were very, very jealous. And when I discovered their jealous spirit, I gave them up immediately. I did not want to continue with them. I knew that these have been sent by the devil. Because you can tell. Because you can tell that Lana, Kunen King, they are not happy to see your life going up. They are the ones who even bring stories against prosperity. They bring stories against success. So you need to be very careful. There are many people who have been pulled out of things diabolically. I know people have resigned from work without knowing where they are going. Say no, ngia resign na nje mina nkatele nje, angsafune kutuweke la pambini nksebenzi, angsafune kusebenzi la muntu mina, ngine ma dreams, ngine ma pupo mina, mfuno kale business, wabona ngine business proposal in kuru, kabi man. Hai, ngine kenje one year, mani, just one year. It's a demon that has uprooted him in the cover of the spirit of backwardness, but giving him a false revelation. That's how many people lose it. You can jump out of a good marriage with a good wife. You can leave a good woman and a good man. Who is able to change your life? Because the demons have given you wrong revelations about it. Wrong revelations about her. And you think it's God speaking to you. And you think Backwardness is as a result one rebellion against God. Two, false counsel. False counsel. Shimando kebu zekri makanda zeketeke buya mande. That's why you find people, they marry and remarry and remarry. Others got children, but they have got no husbands. It gets another second one, but no husband. So it's important for you to understand that how come I can be with a man and we do what married people do? We even produce a child, but this man cannot be with me, but he was happy to be with me in bed. What's the difference? Listen to me very, very carefully. Shimando Kebosa. Diabolical powers, as far as backwardness is concerned. First of all, your own rebellion will bring backwardness. When you don't trust God, when you can't stand in obedience to God and put God first and you put yourself last. That's number one. Number two, it is relationship that you compromise. You, you put yourself last and you put somebody first. You know this relationship is not based on the truth. It's not right. It's busy destroying my life. But you are moving forward with it because you are afraid. I don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt him. You don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt him, but you are hurting your future. You are hurting your life. So you need to check the kind of people because some of the people we bring in our lives, they are already stagnant. Hence, they come to change the philosophy of your work.
Okay? So your relationship with God and your obedience to God must never be compromised. It must be in a tip top. That's the first thing. Your prayer life, your love for God, your service to God, your commitment to God. God comes first. Look, it, the, the, the horse can fall, but my relationship with God is not, is, is not going anywhere. I'm here to serve God. You want to kill me, kill me. I want to serve my God. You, you want to step me, step me. I want to serve my God. Then look at the relationship both from within your family and ordinary friends and colleagues. They are people who are there, who are there first of all, to discourage you about your God. Number two, to mislead you to do something wrong. And tomorrow, they tell the information they have about you. There are people who just come to suck information. No, I know you slept with somebody's wife. Yes. So, my man, if you can't do this, <laughs> I'll tell. They have your information. They have your secret. So already that's a spirit of backwardness. When you want to go forward, they always return you back to what you did. You are failing to move forward. Because why? There is something. They came with an assignment. Some of them, they came because they were jealousy of the at what rate you are going. And the future that God had for you, maybe with your partner or your business partner or your husband or your wife, and they made sure they came in between and separated you. And what you think is that you got a better life, but you don't know that they introduced a spirit of backwardness. So what is happening is that what you had, you have lost it. You must start to work towards what you had already. It's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that must be rebuked and be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Then it's diabolical powers. I told you there is a man who cannot operate from his office because he's been kicked out completely. Never allow people in your home to do strange things. You can't come to my house, I put you in a room, and you say, no, you like candles that got a scent, so you want to burn a candle because when if a e camera doesn't burn a candle, I'll call no kulala kashe, moreover, you are just trying to chase mosquitoes. And oh, no, if my house got mosquitoes, you must talk to me. And I will tell you how we deal with mosquitoes in my house. Anyone who brings a solution in your home in their own way, they have introduced something in your yard. Even a visitor will just wake up in the morning and challenge you clean and challenge you to do some landscaping and they start to, to clean the flowers. Hey, mama, you are old. How come you are cleaning flowers? How come you are in the garden? I thought you came to rest. Mama is just looking for a cool straight now. Same garden. From nowhere, From From disturbed. All of the sudden, business here, which was going okay, is no longer going okay. Never allow people to do strange things in your home. Don't allow. I'm very sensitive myself. I'm telling you. Me, I watch people. Even when you come to my house, you seem to have a certain routine of doing things. I'm going to question you. I'll question you. Straight, straight, I'll question you. First of all, if you're going to go in the bath and you're going to take an hour, I don't mind. Maybe the first day. You were too tired. Maybe you, in, you, you just wanted to relax. Maybe you might have sat in the tub or in the jacuzzi. That's okay. But if I see every time you are in the bath, you took an hour. You take an hour to two hours. Hour to two hours. And when you enter into the bath, there isn't a smell of foam bath or soap. There is a different smell. You need to... Don't, don't. You have to question. 
if you're bathing, it has a routine. You bath at a certain time. I heard of somebody who was in business. His aim was, he wakes up early in the morning. He must be the first one to bath. Then others will follow. So if anyone wakes very early and bath, he does not bath that day because it doesn't bath when someone has already bathed there. It's witchcraft. You know what is that? It is a spirit that says, everyone who come behind me, I'll always be on top. So he has released a spirit of stagnation over you. So you need to watch the behavior of people and their habits, whether it's in your friendship or people that visit you. I am very sensitive. Me, I'm, me you don't do funny things when you come to my house. You do it once, you do it twice. When I see you repeat the same thing, no, I'm going to ask you, I don't care who you are. It's not that I want you to stay in my house. You just visited after all. So you need to go at the end of the day. So if you went, it's not like this. If you say, oh, I'm going back. It is not like um, I'll be surprised that you are going back. Because you didn't come to stay. Whether you go now or you go after one month, the truth of the matter is that you came to visit. At the end of the day, you have to go. So whether you go now or you go next week, it's not a problem. So I'm not going to be afraid to ask you because you're going to go. Because really, the truth of the matter is, oh, mele wambi. So it doesn't worry me. Just like how a certain visitor once said, there is too much peace in our home and that if my husband wasn't the quiet type, we would be hitting each other even said there is much peace, even the kids sleep well throughout the night. Why, why should that trouble a person? Why should that trouble a person? Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. Even now, God is never late. With these very teachings, and you're going to recover everything which the enemy disturbed in your life. The problem that we have here is that we are people we permit to do things. I don't do that. According to the Bible, I'm the head of my house. My father, my own biological father, cannot come and dictate in my home. He cannot. He cannot come and dictate in my house. My mother can't come and dictate in my house. He can't come and pull the weight everywhere here. No ways. He cannot do that. My mother-in-law can never pull my nose in this house. It's not a house. Even my father-in-law cannot come and tell me what I must do here. Probably can speak to me if he finds that I'm hitting his child or I'm mistreating his child, yes. That he can talk to me about. Maybe he can say, ah. That I understand. He can speak as a father. But he can't come just into my home and uh, I'm the head of the house. Even my own biological father cannot do that. My own biological, because it's against the Bible. It's against the Bible. I am the head of this house. My father is the head of his own home. When I go to his house as a child, I'm going to behave as a child. When he comes to my house, in this house, I'll behave as the head. I'm the head in my house. And it ain't there. Even if my father, let's say, he drinks and he wants to go drink and he's going to come 12 o'clock, I'll tell him straight, we don't open gates at 12 yet. So I would, I would really appreciate dead if you cannot, uh, if you go, probably you don't come back at 12 o'clock. You know, you, you, you need to be here early because we don't wake up. And uh, we, I'm not going to appreciate that. Otherwise, I'm going to lock up the gates. You sleep outside. And you're going to think, what do you But the truth matter is that, like, no, I'm dead. And in shock, you're almost in him. I think, in him. Finish. That, that's it. That's it. And some of you think it's, a, it's the rebellion. No, God has given me authority over my home. The Bible says, for this reason, a man and a woman shall leave. Their father. So I have left them. Then why does he follow me to come and now give me trouble and headache? No, he should not. He must come here now to tell me, my son, you have done well and give me more wisdom 
on how I can become a better head. He must give me more wisdom, not to come and oppress me. And he want to come and become a leader in my home. And I oppress my wife, oppress me, oppress my children because it go, 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 next cannot happen. It's an scripture. I tell him straight, I'm cool. I say you have overstayed. I need to drive you back. We'll visit you later. Finish. Close chapter. Before you can bring a case on your children. Because if you don't protect them, they'll get tired, they'll answer him. And when they answer an elderly person, they may curse themselves. So I protect everybody. How do I protect them? I deal with it, put him in the cancer. No, you have overstayed. You're welcome. Let me protect my family. That's it. So, spirit of stagnation, it uses a lot of relationship. It uses, uh, uh, it uses envy. Envy says, why not me? Pride says, why you? Pride says, why you? Envy says, why not me? So, people are envious. And those who are proud, the devil uses them to introduce a spirit of stagnation, of backwardness in you. Because their aim is to make sure that everything you have, you lose them. That's why some of the people, when they come, even, you know, what shocks me is that even parents, you know, it's like, here I am. My son told me he has found a lady want to marry, which we all love. The fact that my, my son loves the woman he want to marry. I must just love the lady my wife want to my son want to marry because the heart of my son is taken by this lady immediately i want not to love this woman who my wife want to my son want to marry i'm already bringing antagonism in the family i've got to help him love his wife and I support him be a good husband. I can only advise them, not rule them. No, advise them. I want to rule their house. Put your coaches like this. Put the fan like this. No, no, no. I can only advise the son. This is what you do for you to have a successful marriage. You know, if you talk things like this and like that, you'll be happy. That's it. That's it. We can only add to his wisdom. I can only add wisdom to my daughter-in-law. Not to go and rule and pull the nose and this. You must cook breakfast for my son at five o'clock. You must make sure my son is not hungry. Let him eat three times a day. We ever. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go up. No. That is their own baby to nurse. It has nothing to do with me. I can speak that on my behalf. I say, well, I wanna mean I mean I want my tea now. I mean I want this. I can I can speak on my behalf. I say, you see, my daughter. I love to drink my coffee. I love to drink my tea. I love to drink my water. You know, I, I cannot bring rules that are not right. But I can tell you what I want so that you serve me better, so that you don't guess. It becomes easy for you to serve me as your father because I've told you, no, I mean, I like to sleep at 7 o'clock. So when you see me going to sleep at 7, it's not out of uh, uh, anything. It's because at 7, I like to rest. And that's it. You know, you, you make things easy. But the truth of the matter is now this is what I want us to deal with. There are diabolical powers that make people undesirable. I discovered over time there are people who buy living things which they can put in the yard. And as long as it moves in the yard, a couple that loved each other, they can become like a cat and a rat. I hate there are things people can burn in the All right? And then, Tole njo muntu no ye na ubizi is burning a candle, a red candle. For what? If we now get St. John's and you come to my house, unge eze na matias St. John's e lam. No. Let's get a Holy Ghost firehouse. Don't bring those things here. Because that's where all warfares and problems begin. Now, the issue that I need you to understand and to follow here is that these things, they have made people to resign from work. Somebody, they put something in your office and you run away from your own office. 
They put something on you, you run away from your own marriage. They put something on you, you say, me, I don't want to be in this position. Please, let me leave this managerial position. I just want to go moon twitch. Because there is something that has hit you and it, 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 it is promoting and brewing a spirit of backwardness. Have you seen people who are happy to reduce their lives? No, I'll just go in a small house. I don't care. No, 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 I'm leaving this job. I'm going to work in a small place as long as there is peace there. Which peace are you talking about when your salary is being cut into half? It's, it's, that's where the problem comes. So it's very important for you to make sure that God gives you grace. A lot of you go forward and you come down. You go up, 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 you come down. Because in the country where I was born in Lusaka, in the city where I was born or in the country I was born in Zambia, years back, almost 50 years ago, I discovered that there were certain things other people would buy and they would give that to the husband they would cook with it, a girlfriend would cook with it and give the man. And after he has eaten that, the way he will be chasing the wife at home, it's like the wife will be no mundo. You will never understand. Other people have been taken out of work. They just resign on their own to create space for them who are demonstrating the power. So I am here by God's grace. Anyone that has been jealousy of your progress, anyone that made a vow that you will never makabro bosoko toroboha, oh rabo shaka tayabaha, anyone that has refused to see you go up and they have made a vow that you will never come up. <laughs> there are some of you here, people, they are saying, enter marriage and you're going to come out within one year. Others are saying you shall not even enter. It's a spirit of backwardness. You buy a car, you crash the car. Insurance refuse to pay you. You start to look for another car. You get a house, something go wrong, it become a repo. You get married, everything go AY, AY, you divorce. You go for a second one, AY, AY, things go wrong. Listen to me, the spirit of backwardness must be dealt with. The spirit of backwardness is a spirit that resists success. This is a spirit that makes a woman who marries a man who loves her. And she's so unhappy to be loved. Very unhappy to be loved. She just become like an animal. And she does not want to cooperate. All she wants, she wants out. And she gets out leaving a caring person. Then she starts to look now for who? For a person that cannot even be able to carry her. The spirit of backwardness is a spirit that will make you invest in goods and the goods don't sell. The spirit of backwardness is a spirit that will make you buy a house and no tenant go there. Jesus. Spirit of backwardness. Imando. Daddy, I resigned from two jobs. It's now I realize that it was a spirit of backwardness. I was a branch manager in 2013. I resigned. And in 2016, I was HR officer. I resigned. The Lord deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you are delivering going where to go and stay at home. You see that, my daughter, Noctul. Because when we met now, when I, you, you joined our church and I started to pray with you, you had no job. Because the enemy come to make sure that they bring. That's why you find that there are some businesses, the enemy will come and plant something and chase everybody and make the business invisible. This is a spirit that will make a husband who is good to the woman look like he's got sores on the face. She's the only one who smells the mouth of the man, but the mouth has got no bad breath. But spiritually, she smells it because what she needs to stay away from him. 
they have concocted something to make sure that they are out. That marriage is broken completely. A man will be attacked that he does not take care of a woman. Women, until a woman get tired or women get tired of him that they don't want him anymore. Because why? There is a spirit of backwardness that is on him. That he goes forward, he comes back. He goes forward, it's a circle. There are girls who have relationships. They get proposed, but they are never married. Backwardness. People start businesses. Businesses, they come, then they dry up completely. Backwardness. This week, we are dealing with that in the name of Jesus. Listen, anyone that is pulling a rope, Mandosha, anyone who is pulling a rope, and anyone who is saying, your life shall never amount to anything. Wherever they went, they wasted their time. If you want to destroy the spirit of backwardness, number one, you must have a personal revelation. Sometimes God speaks to us to do something to destroy the spirit. Because this thing is too much. That's why. Many people attracted this spirit only when the breakthrough came. Listen to me. The spirit of backwardness works with breakthroughs. It doesn't work with breakdowns. It's when you change your house and you go to the higher dimension of a mansion and you become visible now both in the realm of the spirit and the physical, the battle begins. From nowhere there is no money to pay your rates and other things and etc. All of the sudden, things are going away. It's when you buy that car. It's when you walk on through the aisle and you get married. And everything becomes visible. But the Lord, Makabu Shamando Keba, Zikida Kabu, Zemandri Makadrobo Zeketere Bakabu, Maba Zekete Kebuha, my Justina Moyo, hear me very, very well right now. Your life was going back and forth. Because I see you in three countries. Right now, as I'm talking to you, you told me you're in the UK. I've seen South Africa. I've seen Zimbabwe. And when I look at all that, the Lord is speaking to me right now, madam. There are things especially in your personal settlement, as a person to settle in your personal life. It was like an equilibrium. It was like an equilibrium. You go forward, you come back. You go forward, you come back. Okay, someone told me that they'll pray for seven days and promise me nothing will go well with me. Oh, I did not want to go. To Ajajan said to her test, she cried real tears, apparently. I had to <laughs> Okay. Why should somebody pray that nothing will go well with you? The devil is a liar. My Justine, listen to me. It was like an equilibrium. Things were delayed in your life. Delayed, seriously delayed. All right? I'm seeing there was a delay in your life, and you sought to change your life financially, also to be established as far as marriage is concerned. The Lord is speaking to me. You, I want you to watch from this year, 2019. The Lord is telling me before you reach the age 40, Mabozi Gidi Kebra Bazoto, Mandoza Gadakabu, you will celebrate Shikato Yemando Kebazoko. Okay, yes, you lived in South Africa before. Okay. Before you reach the age 40, Makabozi, Krimando Robo Shandaraba, the kind of the breakthrough and recovery you're going to have. Everything that has threatened you over time. Today, we are packaging them and we are throwing them in Jesus' name. Your own personal life to be settled, even just marriage ones. The hand of the enemy has been working very seriously against you. But the Lord tells me, you will celebrate your 40 years with great joy. Mando Zegedeke Boya Mandri Mekado. There was somebody in John 5 at the pool of Bethesda 
who waited for Jesus and the Bible says he was there for 38 years. And when Jesus came, put him out and he walked again. I'm declaring upon you by the grace of God. Let Jehovah help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Where you are, where you are, you will start to see grace. You makabu jamando kebra bazuku turumundri makade. You will start to see the favor increasing upon your life. Things are not we, we are not easy. We are not easy at all. Not easy at all. But I'm telling you, God is starting to work in a different way in your life. My Justin. There is a favor that the Lord is releasing upon you, my God. And I can tell you, one and a half years, you will recover what you could not have in 38 years. Jesus, I give you praise. My God, I give you glory in Jesus' name. Mando Shebaha. We are going to pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. We're going to ask the Lord right now to touch each one of you that are here. Backwardness is going to leave you now in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. Favor is coming your way. The Lord is moving in a supernatural to help each one of you. Mando, Jegede, Kebra, Bazo, Torobo, Zaka, Tarabaze. Rebazo Godo, any agent the enemy has used, Ikadojo Godo Kebra Bazu, any agent the enemy has used to keep you in one spot, they have wasted their time. Makabo Zemando Kebra Bazu, Rigidi Kemandro Bozoto Robokaboya Mandere Bazoto. Father, I thank you. Jehovah, I give you praise because you are mighty. Spirit of backwardness, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. Spirit of backwardness, work with the deception. There are people the devil brings in your life to promise you things they are not going to be able to fulfill because they want to uproot you from your destiny. They want to uproot you from your God-given agenda, from the God-ordained agenda. When you are uprooted from there, your life is destroyed. But today I pray the Lord shall give you wisdom in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Justina says, I'll be turning 40 next year Bishop, God is faithful. Oh, Makuya Bosa. I saw 40, and the Lord says, Before you reach 40, Mande Zeka Toya Mandri Makadorobo Shandara Bakabaha. Irebo Zogodo. Oh, which means you are 38, that is turning 39 this year. Right? And I said there was a man at the pool of Bethesda that was 38, who was there for 38 years, and the Lord visited him. There is something happening. In your life already, my Justina Moyo, get ready. Makabu jamande kebo. Zogodo kebu yamandri makadere bazondo robokabaha. When do you turn 39? Marabo shaha. Is it in the in the in the ninth month of this year? Igado jegede kebra bazoto. Is it in the ninth month? Mando jaka takabo. Zekete. Krobo zendere bakaboha. Father in Jesus' name. Listen to me, guys. The spirit of backwardness is works with a monitoring spirit. So this week I'll deal with a monitoring spirit, stagnation spirit, failure, and setback. Four spirits I need to deal with right now. Oh, Rabo Shaka, 38 years this year. Mama, the Lord has got you on his agenda. Glory to the name of Jesus. Your life will never be the same again in the name of Jesus. Manda Zikato. Krobojete kebaza gada kabo zegede keboyama grimandro bozoto robo kabaha. Yes, in the name of Jesus. September is what month? Ninth month. And the ninth month, number nine in the spirit, is a number of delivery. Igado zugudu kebo. Imande zegede keboyama andri makado. Because the Lord showed me nine and he says, delivery. Mando sha. That which I've been carrying is getting delivered. It's coming forth. Mando jakata. I want you to hear me that the spirit of God has got no distance. It doesn't matter where you are. The eye of the Lord that goes through the spiral of glory. Your time has come, my Justina Moyo. Your time has come. Your time has come. 
Ibada zeke deke boya mande ke bo. Zukudu kubuya mandri makabra ba zoko torobo shandara ba. Father in the name of Jesus. Come on everybody that is here. We are commanding every spirit of backwardness in the name of Jesus. We are rebuked by the anointing of the Lord. Imando jagada. Krobo zikri makandere mazoto robo kabaha. Iba ba 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 rabo seke tere bakaboho. Yanda yanda momo listen to me. Makabu jamando ke bo zikidi ke ba. Imandri makadro bo zokoto. If you go back into about five, six, seven years backwards. You talk about 2013, 2012, 2014, 2015. You find that time and again whenever something came into your hand which was supposed to bring a celebration it brought tears all right it an appointment turned into a disappointment a thing that began ended up just ending like that and the lord saved you from a lot of stuff but here is a thing that i want to tell you the enemy that was turning your joys into sorrow your breakthrough into breakdown appointment into disappointment the the lord is revealing to me right now and is telling me yanda momo listen to me very carefully that in this time and in this season you will not be able to experience you will not be able to experience sorrow where joy has been introduced makabusha the Lord the Lord's hand is upon you and he says I'm gonna protect and I'm going to defend jealously what I've begun in your life, says the Spirit of the Living God. Mando jeka to kaboya ma krimandri mazete rebozo kotoromonde i grimaka dorobo shandara bagaba rabozu i gadoya mande ke bazugudu. There is a door that has just been closed completely, tabiso pofa, completely closed. And I'm re reading on what is written on that on that on that door right now. I, I heard the sound in the spirit. Boom! And it has been closed, and I read what is written there. Makabu jamande ke bozo godo kabaha. Regozu kuturu mundri makadere bazo. And the Lord is saying right near that momo backwardness. Imando zegede ke bo. There are things that you had. There is a place you were at. There is a place where you celebrated at one time. And you thought you had arrived. And you, you, you moved out of it. It was like the thing that you had, you lost it. And you started all over again to work towards it. And when you got it again, the Lord right now is saying, The door, Makabo Shamando Kebra Basokoto, that was left open for backwardness. That you go in and you go out. The door has been closed completely. Mando Jegedeke Boyaman. So you are closed inside where favor is and only going forward. Glory to the name of Jesus. Makabosha Rebuzu Godo Kebra Bazukoto. Rabaka Daka. Kakarabaze. Imando Jogodo Kebra Bazute. Ibrobozondo Robokabra Bazeke Terebakabo. Orabo Zegedeke Ba. Robaka Daha. Father, I give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, I thank you because you are mighty. I give you praise because you are great. Mando Jekete. Krimandro Bozeke Terebakaboha. Kumucho Mnduli, listen to me very carefully. Your hands right now are receiving Makabo Shamando Kebrabaha, a certain specific anointing, and that anointing is for increase. Where I'm seated, the Lord is showing me right now that there is much that comes into your hands, but sometimes you do not know what gets into your hands, how it gets through your fingers, and it is gone and it is finished. And today the Lord is telling me, Mando Zege de Kebra Bazokoto, that you are not only starting to gather, but you are starting to grow. Mabuzikata, Krimando Roboshanda, Rebazo Godokeba. Because when I look in the eyes of the Spirit, I see your hands are full. And when I close my eyes, I open them. Again, I see your hands are empty. Then I see again your hands are full and your heads are empty. And the Lord is telling me right now that speak to her. That there is much that come into your hands, and when it comes into your hands, sometimes you don't realize how it goes through your fingers and it goes. And this has to do with finances. And the Lord says right now, that I have released a specific anointing upon you on your hands. <coughs> and the anointing I'm releasing on your hands is the anointing of increase. 
and the gross. So what I see in your hands right now, I see gross, makabosha. It's like what is in your hands can only grow. Mabazika to yamandri makado. Because whenever something has come into your hands, makabosha ndarabaya, there has been many holes that has been opened. Some of them out of certain demands and order that come all suddenly. And whatever was in the hands it goes. But there is much that come into the hands. And the Lord says that now I'm releasing a specific, specific anointing of increase and growth. You are going to see money growing in your hands. Listen to me. I say you will see money growing in your hands. Imando jaka toke bazu. mande ke bazu. He got da 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 raboka bozo koto yomondri makada. He grimaka doro do shanda yekato krobozoto rabo jendere bakabaha. Father, I rebuke every spirit of backwardness in the name of Jesus. Even Father, in the life of Magagula, I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that spirit that caused you to resign. I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the grace and the anointing of the Lord. Let the power of the Holy Spirit move in the name of Jesus. Kabin, listen to me. Listen, Kabin. Listen to me very carefully. Mando the spirit of backwardness did not only capture you, but it has imprisoned you with the spirit of stagnation. It's like women dao in you. The only thing that happens is that every time you open your ears, you can only receive a message of a bad news. Bad news and challenges. And today the Lord is breaking that. Makabusa. Yebazu guduke man. De zege dekeba. Hibrobozu kotorobo shandara bakabu. Zekata kabaha. Father, I give you glory. I rebuke every spirit of backwardness in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. That says the Lord Almighty that for a long time, for a long time, you have been robbed. You have been robbed, says the Spirit of the living God. You have been robbed. You deserve more, but what you have been receiving even when it comes to your profession, it is not what you deserve. You have been robbed. That's what the Lord is showing me right now. And it was through that robbery that your life moved with the anointing of a snail. But the Lord is saying right now that the time of moving like a snail is over. Imando jegidi keboya mandri makado. Whatever was stolen from you, said God. Mabozukutu. Krimande zegede keboya mandri makado. Ya ba 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 ba. Higo do zeketeleba. It is coming back, says the Spirit of the Living God. Makabosha. Imando robo sekri makado robo shandarabaha. Igado yegede kebuzu krumundri mazoto robo. No more backwardness in the name of Jesus. E marabo sheke tere bakabro bozokoto. Getri malumani. You, I see you, you climb the, the mountain and I see you in the valley. And I see you in the mountain, I see you in the valley. I see you smiling and I see you crying. Imando jegede kebaya mondro bokoto. The enemy has been introducing only seasons to you. As the Lord helps you and make you to smile, the enemy introduces a time of mourning and that says the lord almighty makabo shamando ke bazokoto that backwardness from sorrow from 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 joy to sorrow makabo shama from breakthrough to breakdown it is over mabo zeke teke brabazuku turubu shada get rimalumane specifically get that word right now in the mighty name of jesus because that says the lord almighty mando zeke tere bakabo there are times where you have sat and you feel to say now i think i'm gonna start something because I have saved, I've got this money, I've got this thing, it's waiting for me. Let me try to put it in there before you try to put it into a certain project that you feel is going to take, that, that you, you have been desiring to start. Immediately you plan to, something happens and sometimes the enemy uses the closest person and everything scatters. Listen to me. The Lord is saying right now that it's going to bring wisdom. Not only wisdom is going to bring unity. Not only unity is going to bring favor. That collectively, Makuya Bozeke Tereba Kaboha, they shall be source from the left and source from the right. That is going to bring in Mambo Zeke Teke Baha, Rebro Bozoko Toro, because I see money coming. And the money that is coming is going to come and wipe your tears away. And 
cause you to realize the vision that you have had and the cry you are having inside of your heart, especially regarding building. There is grace that has taken place right now. Makuya bozeka to rebazuta. Imando zege de kebra bazuku turumundri makado. Rebazokata. Imeo dagatazile. That says the Lord. That where I'm taking you, the glory, the later glory shall be bigger than the, the former. Says the Spirit of the living God. Imando jagada. You are seated where you are right now. You are regretting and sometimes you cry alone and you fail. You will be in a better position if certain things did not happen in your life. But listen to me. Thus says the Almighty God that the later glory shall be greater than the former. Where you are going, Mandu, Jegedeke, Boja, Mandri, Makado, the Lord says, I've opened the seven doors of the realm of the spirit and the four doors of the earth to usher favor into your life. Imando, Zegedeke, Brabazoko, Torobo, Shanda. Listen to me. You will already start doing things before even the be, before the helper comes. You would have already started doing things for yourself. You will see everything going in a right way. You'll be heading towards the achievement. The Lord says there is no eyes behind your back. So do not look behind. Don't look and regret and cry about what happened in your life. Mando Jegedekeba. It look like you have had a life changed. Mando Zigidikeboyama for 10 years. But before the 10 years, you still had a life change for six years before that. So we are talking about 16 years of a changed life. Mando Jekato, Rebrabazokotoro. And it became like a life of battles. But listen to me. All those times the enemy introduced to come and disrupt your joy and your celebration. It's like whenever you were ushered into a new page, the enemy came to try to attack you and bring backwardness. You entered, after you completed, you went into a job. You, you experienced a shaking. You entered into your marriage. You experienced a shaking. Now you are alone. You experience a shaking. And the Lord is speaking right now that whatever has been stealing from you, that power has been broken. The Lord is releasing his grace upon you. The Lord is opening a new door for you to usher in heavy favor. And his favor cannot permit you to go backwards again, says the Spirit of the living God. Mando Zaga Igado Yebakabo Yamandri Makada Rebo Zuku Turumundri Makabaha Father I pray Lord, I give you glory. Mighty God, I give you honor. I thank you that Jehovah you are mighty in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Mando Jeke Tere Bakaboya Mandri Makado, Reba Zoka Taya Bazikri Makado, Maba Baba Baba Baba, Polina Mpanza. Listen, the Lord is coming through, not only in your in, in your financial area, but I see the Lord coming through in your marital area. That the Lord shall give you permanent joy in Makabosa. Kebo Zigidi Gemanda, Yega Dorobu Shakata. It's a breakthrough of settlement. It's a breakthrough of peace. It's a breakthrough of understanding. Igadu zemando keboya mando. And both of you, the Lord said to bless you and take you forward. Makabo sikata. Higri makando. Dekri makadorobo shandarabaha. Promise kodi. The evil hand that steals from your pocket. Because what I see right now, I see a pocket. And I see an evil hand is inside. Makabo shamando kebaha. I want you to hear me and hear me well. The enemy only fights you at a point where finances are concerned. That's first of all. If a man come into your life and they want to think of settling with you, the first thing also they struggle on is their pocket. Because the enemy put the hand in your pocket and even in the pocket of a man that's coming to your life so that your life will not be able to go forward. I pray by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Mando Jakata, Krimando, Zegedeke Boya Manda, Hibrobozoko Torobozi Krimakadoha, Ireboja Mandeke Boya Mandri Makado. That hand has withered. That hand has withered spiritually in Jesus' name. Imando Shabaha, Mutabini gift. Listen to me very carefully. The enemy has plan after so much work with the Lord. The enemy wanted to bring a lot of things to a standstill, especially this year.
bring a things to a standstill this year so that the spirit of backwardness can become effective and you began all over again but i'm here to tell you makabo gift mtabini mandozi krimando jagada kaboha i have an instruction from the lord to speak into your sphere maboze gede keboya mandri makado that your life will never be the same again that which the enemy came to steal from you it is coming back and the lord is not only restoring you but is opening better doors for you and the lord is not only opening better doors for you the lord is giving you a testimony imando jagede keboya ma that cancels shame and despising in your life in the name of jesus makabo don't be worried and you say this year look tough there is nothing tough about it the lord says i have everything in control for i have released a favor on you i have of have, course the shift in the realms of the spirit and the shift is in your favor gift him to there is a shift that is in your favor imando Zebra baka daraba zeke tere baka bo robo zuka to ya mande ke bo ziki tiri ma iremondo robo zikri makadorobo dinisi wa hi na idu makabosha listen to what the Lord is saying right now makaba zeke te krimandro mo zeke tere baha you are gonna receive a call there is a phone call that is coming mando zeke te ke boha the phone call that is coming is offering you a job is offering you a job listen to me the job is not gonna have a biggest package. Makabosha is not going to have the biggest promise, a biggest reward. But I am telling you as a prophet of God, you need to take it because as you go, they're going to discover who you are and what you are able to do. It is from there. Mandu I am seeing a promotion coming out of, out of a simple call and I'm seeing an elevation coming. So I want you, as you receive the call, Dennis Naidu, Maboze Gedeke Bayama, the call that it's coming now. It's coming now. It can come tomorrow. Mabuzi Gidikeba. It can come next week. But right now, I sense from the realm of the spirit. Mandoje Gedeke Boya Mandri Makado. That the spirit of backwardness has been broken over your life in the name of Jesus. It's a generational spirit that cause everybody to stay in the father and mother's house i want you to hear me hear me very well makabo shamando keba zegede kebuya mandri makado this spirit works with what i call a familiar spirit it's a spirit of the home it's a spirit of the house where everybody need to get in your mother's house but the lord has not permitted you to do that because you carry a joseph kind of an anointing you are supposed to be a solution they are supposed to look up to you during the time of the famine mabuze get the kebra bazuko turubu shanda and solve some of the challenges that they have makaba zekete he grobo koto robo shanda rabaha so there is a call coming and with the call that is coming denis nahidu it is listen they will tell you this what we can give you it is sound it will sound discouraging i am telling you as a prophet of the lord take it go go because that is just a door that will be used for you to get to the other side yes daddy uh, very true if i meet a man even if he is financially stable he suddenly becomes broke until he decides to leave me because our plans are not working in order yes i rebuke that now in the name of jesus that hand that steal from you and steal from a man it shall not happen in jesus name so denise naido there is a release from the realm of the spirit the lord has already blessed you makuya bosa there is a door that the lord has opened already in jesus name the familiar spirit of their home it has been broken what i see right now i see like everybody to come and sit in one place it doesn't matter where they are there is a voice that calls them you must come home i cancel that voice in your life in jesus name and i pray you shall prosper in the place where you are glory to the name of the lord every spirit of backwardness wherever everyone that is here you enter relationship you come out you enter marriage you come out you start a job you lose it you start a business, it dies. All of you that are here, come on, start to rebuke that in the mighty name of Jesus. Imando Jagede, Klobozikri Makando Robo Shandara Bakaba, 
Iboko Doro Bozikri, but Babalu Abuso pray. The man that is coming, he must stay, he must stick. Babalu Abuso, I'm speaking to you because there is a release of a marriage. There is a man coming. Imando Jegede Keboya Mandri Makado. There is a man coming because if you look backwards, Mando Jegede Keboya Mandri Maka, relationship broke with only stupid reasons. Imando, I call them stupid reasons, cheap reasons. And this, the reason why I call them stupid and cheap reasons is because there's no explanation. There is no even a reason why. It's like a thing just to go and we say we have grown apart and that is the end of the story and the thing is gone. Then you find deception also inside there and when you discover deception then you feel this thing cannot go anywhere. But I rebuke that by the anointing of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord shall keep you, all of you that are here. I release the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I release the grace of the Lord. I release the anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask the Lord to move in the supernatural in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Spirit of backwardness, I come against you. I rebuke you. You shall not hold God's people right now in Jesus' name. You shall not hold God's people in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. I am praying to the Lord that the Lord shall give you power to sustain what you begin. Because what I'm seeing right now by the eyes of the Spirit, Dino Shaka, it looks like something will begin. You have a desire for something. Then the way the enemy comes, it's like from somewhere you just lose interest and you start to lose energy. It's like you don't want to push it anymore. Some of the opportunities and things, you, 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 the enemy come in the spirit of just losing interest. Feeling in like how oh, we are bored, how oh, man can to continue with this thing, and you leave it alone like that. And some of the things you have tried to invest in, some of the things have taken your money, and you leave them just like that. I am praying to the Lord today that 2021 you shall carry heavy courage to pursue your goals in the name of Jesus. The spirit of backwardness that come wearing a suit of discouragement, a suit of um, a, a lacking energy to push things or to fight things. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Makabo Shakata. Because in this year and beyond, you have been set by the Almighty God. Makuya Bozeke Terebakaba. To walk in power, to walk in glory. Mando Zeke Terebakabo. And to... to Prosper financially, glory to the name of Jesus. Imando jegedekeba, zebra bakoto rebra bazikri makado. Imande zegedeke boya mandri makadoro bo shandara baha. Atha kahonga. Listen to me. The spirit of backwardness it has put a mask on you that whenever important people must recognize you, they do not recognize. It's like you become invisible during the time of a very important decision. You are an intelligent man. You are a man that can be depended on. You are a man that performs. You are a man that can do things to the T. And you are a perfectionist. You don't like to do things in a wrong way. You want to do things in a right way. But every time when it is a time when you must be rewarded, there is some kind of a mask on you. Kahonga, I'm speaking to you Arthur. But by the power of the Holy Spirit right now, I release the grace and the power of the Holy Spirit. I rebuke whatever is not from God. And I remove that mask in Jesus' name. And I come against every hand cuffs on your hands. That cause you not to produce that whatever you put your hands to it does not grow the way it must grow i rebuke that in the name of jesus and i release that from today there'll be no spirit of backwardness in your life in the name of jesus listen everybody that is here let's pray very quickly father i rebuke backwardness i rebuke it in jesus name i come against it my God, I ask you right now, whatever power the enemy is using to discourage us. Oh, Rabba, Baba, 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 Baba. Oh, Rabbo, Seketere, Bakaba. Imando, Robo, Shaka, Taraba, Kabuha. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Receive the freedom from the Lord. Receive the freedom from the Lord. Receive the freedom from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the freedom from the Lord. 
Imandri mazoko dorobo shandara bakabaha. Rebu zagada kaboya mandri makadorobo shandara bakabaha. Father, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. Mighty God, I give you honor. Maka ba 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 ba. Irebo zegede kebra bazoko torobo shanda. This year, your life will never be the same. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maka bozi. Krimandro bozete rebakabo. Reba ba 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 shanda rabakaba. Father, I thank you. Mighty God, I give you glory in Jesus' name. Imando zegede keboya mandri makadaha. Reba ba 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 ba. I pray, Father. I rebuke whatever is not from God. Backwardness. Come on, wherever you are, just a spirit of backwardness. Live my life now. I shall not go backward. My business will go forward. My life will go forward. In the name of Jesus. Imando jege dekebo. Zoko torobo zindri makade. Rebakuta. Krimandro bozo torobo kabaha. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let Jehovah move in the supernatural. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray that the light of God will shine. In every dark part of your life, in the name of the Lord, let the power of the Holy Ghost, let the anointing move in the supernatural. I pray Jehovah move right now in Jesus' name. Imando jegedeke boya mandri makado. Father, I pray for every business person right now. I release, Father, I pray for Chido's business. I pray that Father, my son's business is going to grow, is going to prosper in the name of the Lord. I rebuke every plan of the enemy. He shall not be stagnant. He won't go forward and back. But I pray, Father, he shall grow. I pray heaven will open over him. And I pray, Father, thousands shall come into his hands and he will know you are Jehovah. He will know you are the great I am. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke going forward and backward. I release, Lord, in the name of Jesus, the grace of the Lord and the anointing in Jesus' name. I thank you that no backwardness will locate you in Jesus' name. Let your, your life move at the supersonic speed. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Makabo jamando kebra bazoko torobosha. Imando zegede kebra bazoko torobosha ba. Neti reji, the Lord shall give you meaning to finances. He will give you meaning to finances. Meaning to finances. That as money come, you will know exactly. Makabo jamando kebra bazoko torobosi. Where that money need to go and how it need to work. Mandoje, because the Lord has given you grace to expand your life. Mandoje ketere bakabo. Robozo kuduya mandri makade. Regadozo godo kebra baze ketere ba. Father, I give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I give you honor. Makabo jamande kebra bazo kotorobo zindi. Igadoyo mondri makadorobo shanda. Father, I give you praise. Mighty God, I give you glory and I give you honor in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, because you are mighty, you are powerful, you are great in the name of the Lord. Deli Nyati, listen to me. I'm here to rebuke a drought. A drought. I'm here to rebuke a drought. I see a man-made drought. Shimando. Neti, Reji, the Lord will give you meaning to finances because you need to make money out of money and you've been asking what can i do the lord is going to give you that wisdom in the name of jesus delinyati today listen it's not a backward as per se it is a spiritual drought that brings a delay mando zegede and as a delay come it makes you to dig extra deep to keep certain things going. Makabosha. Listen to me. Today, you must write this thing in your diary. I have rebuked the drought in your life. Drought. A drought is a time when crops are in the ground and it is not raining. I send the rain of the spirit over your work and your business. And from today, you will never struggle with a payment in the name of Jesus. I rebuke a drought in Jesus' name. That nature won't be against your time. Makabusha. Krimando zegedeke brabazoko torobosha. 
the drought where there is a time of a silence and sometimes you've got to dig deeper mabuzigi dike brabazoko torobo shandaraba that sometimes it takes you longer to even close that hole that you dig. Today, I rebuke that drought in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke it by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is a drought. It's like a famine. The drought comes. Not a backwards per se. It's just a drought. Today, listen to me. Listen to me. You're going to start to receive cause after cause. Everything that you push. Mando sekiti. Ahaha. Have you seen a, 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 a belt, a fan belt, the way it runs? It runs like that, eh? That's exactly, that's a kind of an anointing of a fan belt that runs like that. You, you don't need to struggle. The fan is going to turn because the belt is just turning like that. That's how your work is going to move. And that's how finances are coming. Glory to the name of Jesus. I rebuke that drought in Jesus' name. You experience a time of silence. In your life, there, there, there are times when it's just silent, and you are in that time of silence. And I close the silence. I bring news. I bring news. I bring news. <laughs> I bring news. <laughs> I bring news. Hey, glory! I bring news. Makabosha, Reba Zokoto. Everybody is hearing me here, Delinyati. I'm saying I bring news. You are going to testify. It is done in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is done. Hallelujah. Makabro bozeke terebe. You are going to testify. Mando jaka toya baha. You're not going to work too hard. You, you, you're not going to pull too hard. There will be enough coming and going. Income and expenditure. It will just be like that. Like a conveyor belt. It's a belt. It's a belt. Just like that. Just like that. News. No more drought, no more silence. I rebuke the silence in Jesus' name. Receive the freedom. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, I feel it in my spirit. <laughs> oh, Rabu Shekete. Look at that. I am even asking myself if maybe I'm not doing right. No. It's a drought. It's a drought. The drought that has come, there has been a certain wave that was pushed over the time of December, just before we cross over during the time of Christmas. Mando Zegedekebo. It was in December time. Because during that time, I see a dry bone. And I see December. Makoboshe Kebrabazoko Toroboski. And that was just to introduce a drought. I'm seeing a dry bone on the other side. But listen to me. Not even ancestral powers. No Sangoma. Who might be angry with you right now? I don't care who they are. But I'm seeing something linked to December. But I've cancelled it. So don't worry about it. <laughs> News has come. <laughs> We are able to pick and see. When we pick it, we remove it. Listen, you are doing right. In fact, you protected yourself for not sending money somewhere which it was requested. You protected yourself. Zigado kebu. Not giving money somewhere as, as help. To say, okay, help me with this and you felt, no, you can't do it. It was correct. Because it's not everybody that we help. Certain people, we help them. Then out of our help, they give us a problem. But remember, even when we refuse to help, they still react. Because we refuse to help them. So whichever way, whether we do, we don't, they still react. But listen, the Lord has settled. There is a calm. I've declared the rain. Imvula. <laughs> Pula kasutu in your life. Glory to God. So you can go and have your breakfast and enjoy. You are doing everything right. God is on your side. Imando Shebakabaha. I've spoken about good news. You have all heard me. Daily, you must bring good news. I command you to bring it in Jesus' name. Because it is here already. It's released. I've given it to you. <laughs> it's settled. Glory to God. Father, I thank you. I give you glory. I pray now. Every spirit of backwardness is rebuked. Mando Shabaha. 
Ye Brabazoko, Ye Bakadorobo. Listen, uh, there is these people that we are looking for a for a place to go and uh, they are looking for land. Uh, Babalwa Buso and Itumeleng. I want you to go to the offices of Harcourt, Harcourt offices. I gave you direction where you must move to. It's like the enemy is making you to get lost. I've been praying. It's not that I forgot your matter. Your matter is on my spirit. I'm a very serious man. <laughs> when I say I'm working on a thing, I'm working on a thing. KIC, KIC Kaonga as well. I'll need to pray for your oil today at uh, um, 10 o'clock. Give me a call at 10 o'clock or send me a message. I'll call you back. I dedicate your oil. Kaonga, Kaonga, Kaonga. Now, it's very important. Babalwa Buso and Itumeleng Dube, you are looking for land because your land is around Centurion. Go to a company, the agent called Harcourt. Harcourt, find the office, don't call. Find the office, go and tell them and ask them the need you have, the bracket you want the land or the house to be. Go to them. Go to Harcourt. Don't go to the land anymore. Go to Harcourt. Harcourt is going to lead you straight into the place I told you. And they will lead you into a land. Go to Harcourt agent. All right? And you're going to get a land in developing estates in the bracket that is going to be a blessing to you. Go to Harcourt. That's the agent you must use, Harcourt. If there is a court in Centurion, go there. And the Lord is with you. Father, I bless your holy name. I give you glory. Listen, we have come to the end of the service today. <laughs> I'll continue tomorrow. I know you always want me to be here. Everybody from here, this country, outside the country, and all the people sowing seed of thanksgiving and change of season, and open doors, prophetic seeds for recovery, and all the people that are saying no more backwardness. <laughs> I am starting like a lion. I'm starting like an eagle. It's a force. I'm going to fly above the storms. I will never come down. And you are here. Makabo, shamando, kebuzu, gudu, kebo. Orabo, zeke, tere, bakabo. There is the account. You can send your seed there. Send your offering there. And the Lord is going to help you. Makabro, bozoko, torobonde. Yes, Harcourt agents. Go there. Go there. Mabose. I love you, all of you guys. And I pray for a major blessing over you. And I pray each one of you, may you bring a major testimony in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And never forget, whenever God blesses you, let us share the blessings. The Bible says, remember to share good things with those who teaches you in spiritual things. Galatians 6 6. <laughs> Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Mando, je, katoya, mandri, makado. I'm releasing things now. I'm releasing businesses now. You know why? Because there are certain blessings the Lord told me he was giving me. But he said, I'm going to give you these blessings through the people. As you stand faithfully and you pray for them and breakthrough come, I'm going to bless you through them. That's what the Lord told me. All right. And that's what's going to happen. There are cars I'll get this year because of you people that are here. So we are releasing that blessing already. Glory to the name of Jesus. You want to release an offering? There is the account. No more backwardness. Some of you have begun in business. You went backward. You got a house. Things, a lot of things have been happening. Here you are. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A seed is something you sow by faith. It's something you feel in your spirit. And you say, this message needs me to give an offering. I'm doing it. God bless you. Thank you for being here. And shalom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Remember, we are the fire. We cannot suffer. Honor is from the Lord, and all I'm doing is making ministry attractive. And shalom. Need to run into the gym. God bless you. I love you. Take care of yourself.
Oh, hallelujah. Oh, the name. 